Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Peak to Middle School. My name is Narwhal. I'm here with the Big Chug. Hi. And Jay Shimfit. Yes. Yeah. Shim. I'm back. Today you waddled into my house. Waddled like a yeah. duck or like a Dude, penguin. I can't really bend my knees because when I try and like bring my feet up, you know, to walk, you're my, just sore. My hamstrings start cramping. Okay. And okay. Like, when I well. try and sit down to on the toilet. My butt starts cramping. <laughs> Seems to be quite a predicament. When I try and here. straighten my leg, my quads start cramping. That's kind of how I was. I was at the top of the hike. <laughs> like when I was like bending my leg, and I got a massive quad cramp on the side of a cliff. Yeah, it was kind of scary. Kyle starts screaming on the side of a mountain. I'm like, I thought something was wrong. He was just no, cramping. Just cramping hard. What if you had a disease where you just like your muscles were peak soreness they could possibly be i think i'd rather just die all the time <laughs> i think so it's i'd like rather die post marathon just always post so. marathon but every day I, I think i'd just be going a wheelchair and not move. i think i'd just become <laughs> paralyzed via just just deciding not, not to, to move. move yeah yeah <laughs> that'd be pretty cool <laughs> um you just decide to be paralyzed I I, but by cool. definition you're not that's not really yeah, i think you're just deciding not, not you're just yeah, but deciding can, but, not to but, move can they like prove that i'm i guess they probably could there's doctors there's things biologically they, do. they could prove like dude it's like the ricky bobby <laughs> it's scene. like you're not you're not paralyzed no no i can't feel my leg <laughs> and he just takes a knife and just stabs it in his leg oh God. i need to rewatch that movie so it's been can a while. paralyzed people really not feel anything no so like it's i could like snap like, your leg and you wouldn't even yeah know. yeah i don't, I don't know, know. The, the science but i'm pretty sure it's something with your nerves and your brain and like but you like they can't can, feel it. You can still like bleed out, obviously. That's why it's like dangerous. It's kind of a crazy concept that like y there's people that can just not feel anything from like their neck down. Yeah. Or like waist down or any. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they could put their like hand in boiling water and just let it chill. Just let it boil. They could deep fry their arm, dude. Ooh. That's actually crazy. Yo, could really they eat their own arm? Okay. No. no <laughs> because I heard this somewhere that if you eat. Your own skin or your own like body parts. Yeah, like that your stomach then realizes that it's food and starts yeah. eating you from the inside out. Yeah, it starts digesting. Yeah, you told yourself. me that. And then like if you eat brain, it'll start dissolving your brain. Wait, so if I eat like a piece of my calf or a forearm, yeah. my body thinks that like it's supposed to be digesting what yeah. this is made of. Or so that, just or just like, it just like thinks that it's okay to Oh digest. my starts, god. Yeah. Do we know that, like, is this a theory or is this proven? I mean, I'll be honest. I heard that somewhere. I haven't done <laughs> All I research. know is I only know it from Kyle. I mean, our whole show is based on just agreeing with anything <laughs> anyone says. We're just going to say it's true. Yeah. We, we Whatever you read on the internet is 100% true. Exactly. Yeah. And that's a good segue into what we're doing today. Because uh, today, if you guys haven't seen our first episode of doing this, uh, we're going to read through each other's search histories. This is um, part two. Part two. Ooh. Last time we did it with Jordan, this was, it was probably might have been about a year ago. Yeah, six probably ish maybe months. about like eight to twelve months ago. Yeah, yeah um, so it was an overwhelming success. People enjoyed it. It had some very funny moments. Uh, but before we hop into it, Shim, you told me that you had like a story you wanted to you wanted to <coughs> yeah. tell. Yeah, what happened? So, um, we were all right, I was just on Instagram, uh, scrolling through, and then this Twitch streamer, um, who I follow on Twitch and Instagram. She wow. posted a picture saying she's streaming. Okay. And I was like, wow, she's so hot. And I was showing Kyle and John like, oh, she's so hot. And I was okay. like, I totally simp for her. And then I was, the story is, anyways, the story is that um, a couple nights ago when I was watching her stream, <clears throat> Someone gifted me a subscription. Oh yeah, or something like that. Someone yeah. gifted you. A you can give people subs to, like, yeah. get, the, to get, get the streamer to their goal. So I, I don't, I don't, I'm still learning Twitch. John, explain it. Okay. So yeah. So there's a thing called gifting subs, which is like on Twitch. It's different than YouTube. Like if you want to be a subscriber, you have to pay. There's yeah, different I understand tiers. That. Um, and so you can choose to either pay or there's also like Amazon. They're like Twitch prime subs where if you have Amazon prime, you can sub to one person a month for free okay. if you link it with your Amazon prime. But then there's also a thing where if I wanted to just do a nice deed, I could pay like 50 bucks and gift 10 different people a sub. That's what the guy was doing. So, so someone was like helping you simp. Yes. That's no, a simp no, looking out was, for another simp. This was or, like the daddy simp, dude. The yeah. Dad, this was like daddy oh. simp giving it to like these children's simps who like saw like people were uh, not subscribed. Okay. Yeah. He was like, hey, 
I'll pay for your sub. That's yeah. creepy level. Of but like, it's creepy it's level. It's more of that he was trying to be the ultimate simp yes. and have her notice him it's, for giving exactly. Subs. It's like he's like outdoing yeah. all other simps, and so his name is now like by a gift box at the top of the chat. Yeah, so it'll say his name like so and so gifted. Dude, this guy's subs. really going yeah, for and it. So, anyways, my story. Forget this guy. It's about me and now this Jordan's dude. trying to rise. <laughs> so Jordan's <laughs> gifting simps. <laughs> So I, I was gifted a I was gifted a sub <laughs> gifted a sim, <laughs> <laughs> and Kayla, this Kayla girl goes, oh thank you blah 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 for gifting uh shim the subscription ooh shimmy shim shim <laughs> and she started playing with my name like that and I was like oh Let's my go. god I, like, oh I'll play with my name no, I was like I was like oh that's so hot and then wow. like two two weeks ago. She had like a really good airstrike that like down three pe down wow. three people Love when she has a good down airstrike. three people of the four in Warzone right damn that is a good airstrike Dude, that's, that's actually that's that is actually it's really a fire, good it's a fire no airstrike. it's a good shout out to that airstrike yeah and so I commented in the chat I said that was a fire airstrike lol mm. and she goes that was a fire airstrike shimmy shim and I'm like wow she knows you now she knows me she has a nickname for me what's what's your name on on Twitch it's just jshim23 like my Twitter oh okay. yeah. But she's made shimmy shim a thing. It's yeah. like Professor Rolone in Spanish. Okay. Sen junior year. Uh, she would go, oh, shimmy shim. Shimmy shim. Okay. Yeah. See, shim That's, is... That feels kind of racist. It, yeah. <laughs> but do you take offense to it? No, because... Well, Not if you're simping. I had That's to, true. I had to get an A in the class, so no. And then I was simping, mm. so no. Yeah. Okay. So um, you kind of simped for our teacher a little bit. But if Joe, good grid. yeah, interesting. But if Joe Joe Schmo came up to Shim and went, "Hey, Shimmy Shim," like, it probably wouldn't be the coolest. I'd be like, thing "You to racist." Do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's good. See, <laughs> Shim is getting the first taste of like simping simp in Twitch. Not yeah, just like Twitch life because this is like a thing. Like that's why people yeah, like no, Twitch. No, I've actually like been on Twitch more than so. I used to watch. I still do watch Korean Savage on YouTube. Yeah. I'm all into Warzone. I'm fully addicted to Warzone. <laughs> Um, but now I recently fallen as and I used to fall asleep to uh, Korean Savage or I used to fall asleep to Pim. Sorry guys. Uh wow, Twitch has kind of Twitch is demoted. Kinda, <laughs> I'm sipping I'm sipping for these girls, nah, not for Pim. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I would simp for other people before I would Wait, guys, out. if you change the letters of Pims, you can make simp. Oh, oh shit. Whoa. To make t shirts saying simp for Pims. So we could just go school in middle. Peaked. peaked. <laughs> School in middle. middle peaked. That's simp. Dude. Holy shit. Maybe if we do like a like a parody, like a skit or a sketch, we'll be like, hey, welcome back to Simp Podcast. Simp oh my God. God. It's like welcome an alternate back to school reality. In middle peak. Yeah. Wow. It's a pig Latin. It's a pig Latin episode. Welcome wow. back to Simp. That made my okay. day. <laughs> Damn, dude. We're, we're simps at hey, our oh, core. Dude, so you're Pims and everyone who follows you and loves your show are simps. There are simps. They're your simps. Wow. wow thanks guys thanks for simping <laughs> yeah um yeah i just i think it's cool that like i don't know because you said you've also kind of been watching some korean savage yeah and i i'm happy because i feel like like i've known about these cod content creators for a long time and now i see you guys like becoming fans yeah, of them as dude. well i'm becoming a total and nerd. now shim's like a twitch kid and it's Total like Twitch it kid, took dude. a few years, but now he's there, and it's like. When's he gonna Man. start streaming? Though is the question. I'm gonna start. I'm Pretty gonna get soon. a PC, so then I'm gonna start streaming. Well, right, we'll see. I'm gonna become the Korean beast. Yeah, you've been demoted to my second favorite Korean now. Ah, oh, third favorite. Oh, Who's the dang. Korean Savage? Uh, Kyle Shim, your brother. Oh, and then you. Oh, at least at least Ryan's below me. Yeah, Ryan's definitely below. <laughs> me. And then Bentley. He's not oh, Asian. Man, now, so. I'd, I'd put Bentley above me and Kyle. Yeah, your dog's pretty sick. He loves me. He's not Asian, though. I mean, he loves everyone, uh, so. He's Asian. Are there Asian he, dogs? She's like shi <laughs> Shih Tzu. Oh, they're Asian. And then, uh, you know those, like, the, the lap the little dogs. The, Who are the lap the, dogs? No, like, the little, like, the, not, are they, not corgis, but they're, like. Greyhound. <laughs> you that? Not at Mountain all. dog. The little tiny ones with the. I don't know, Pomeranian. Man. Yeah, I don't know. They're like, I don't think they're, like gonna purse, find they're literally like purse dogs that all, oh, all Asians have. Oh, those are they're gross. Like, yeah. Kind of like orange white tannish. And puffy. Yes. No, I, orange tannish. Oh, Summer like, Ray's dog? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> summer Ray. I That's simp true. for Summer <laughs> Ray. Summer Ray's dog. Uh, nice. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, Shim is now an official simp yep. uh, in the Twitch live. I'm a shimp. Um, <laughs> okay. 
But yeah, no. So it's actually cool though, because people were like, it's not just like a simping. Th- it's not really a simping thing. Like that's kind of a joke. But like the whole idea of gifting subs is a lot of people. Like if there's big Twitch streamers who like make a lot of money, there's people who kind of just as a gift. Like if it's some streamer's birthday and and they like them and they know it's their birthday, they'll go and gift fifty subs. Which means Oof. it gives fifty people a subscription, but it also the streamer gets all that money gets 50 subscribers worth of money so if you give it's like 50, a win-win you can also like just yeah. venmo streamers yeah so like dude it's it's kind streaming. of it's kind of just the idea of like I'll you want to do something nice to this person for this person so you just give them some subs dude there's people on people on the internet are just doing the most like giving people money That's, bro people on the Internet's internet crazy. give away so much money I, for no reason i would never do that I would never pay ten dollars for any. Like I would never. I haven't. All paid you guys, all you patrons, I would. If I were you, I would never do that. <laughs> no. Thank you so much for doing. Thank it. you for doing it. But why? I would never do that. I, dude, I've been like diehard fans of certain shows and certain things. Never, patron. never once have I paid for anything on the internet other than Netflix or like HBO. Yeah, pretty. That's much. it. What about you, Shim? Do you pay for any like subscription? <laughs> <laughs> other than Pornhub Premium, I, other, other than other than my porn membership, uh, <laughs> he's got multiple. Yeah, I have like three different websites, yeah. all uh, all on different cards. Um, mm. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I no, I haven't paid for anything. The only thing I paid for were like workout programs or like uh, uh, workout books, like education books. Yeah, and that's that's valid. But like on actual people, no. Yeah, I saw it. You, uh, you were a patron for us, right? Uh, oh, actually, I were. was a patron, yeah, I mean, and, that's then, he's our boy. and then I was unemployed, and I was like, I can't, I can't be be a patron anymore, even though oh, I got unemployment. Can, no. I though, even though I got unemployment money, I was like, I just, I can't do it. Well, now you're not unemployed anymore, so uh, I should so become a patron gotta, gotta again. Be, no. yeah, exactly. No excuses um, now. But uh, it's funny. There's people that are like uh, designers that I see who will post stuff on Twitter about how they like. You know what stock photos are where it's just like you can basically license. There's like websites that offer tens of thousands of random photos that you can use in your work if you pay like 10 bucks a month. But there's these designers out there who will rather than paying the 10 bucks a month, they'll go through the effort of getting a stock photo that like it it has a huge watermark on it, Mm -hmm. like a big logo until you buy it and then the logo disappears. They'll just Photoshop out the logo <laughs> so that they don't have to pay the ten dollars, <laughs> and like they'll just Photoshop it so that you can't even tell the logo's there. And it's like, how long does it take to Photoshop that out? I mean, if you're good, it not like maybe like thirty minutes, but like, is it really the worth opportunity the opportunity cost? Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> but like, I used to do the same thing. Like, I didn't start paying for Premiere, the program that I edit these podcasts in, until the start of last year. How? Because I illegally downloaded it off these like <laughs> sketchy websites, and so I always had these like fake illegally downloaded versions. So, I just hate paying for them. Yeah, but you couldn't wow. with the illegally uh, downloaded version. You couldn't update it, right? Yeah, that's the thing. That's exactly it. Never updates because oh. uh, what one of our friends or yeah, one of our friends had a uh, the FL Studio to mix and mix and master music. Yeah, and. It was illegally downloaded, so he's like, every time there's an update, I had to re-download it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. Damn. That's what, yeah, just buy your shit, guys. But uh, And subscribe to our Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com <laughs> slash Pins Podcast. Thank you. Okay, so today we're going to be reading through each other's search history. If you're not really familiar, it's pretty self-explanatory. We're going to pass our phones. Who did we? So I had Shim's phone last time. I don't know, dude. Who's did just, you? We can just pass this way. But I'd rather we have someone else's phone than we had last time. Oh. You know? I read Shim stuff. I think Jordan had mine, so we can go this way. Okay, okay, yeah. So, we're going to pull So, up. we're just going to kind of scroll through. Uh, this is Jordan's on already on my bookie. That's <laughs> Dude, that's my home screen. That's like one of my home screens. <laughs> okay. I have 30 cents in my bookie. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. His first his last thing he 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 searched was strawberry cheesecake marijuana strain. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, Dude, Shim it. told us before we started recording. He's like, "We can do this, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's all weed." I'm getting the vibe that it's food, weed, and my bookie, which yeah. is for those of you who don't know is banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, my bookie is sports gambling. 
which Shim has been very into since the return of the NBA. Oh, yeah, so man. Google Sherbert. Oh, man. Shim. Oh, I just said Sherbert. Yeah, that's what you should say. <laughs> no, you. it's not what I should say. Thank you. Um, that's correct. Okay, so what we're, we'll do, like, Kyle did one, then I'll do one from Kyle's, and then Shim will do one, and we'll just go in a circle. So, Kyle, I think, is this first search for later in the episode? Yeah. Okay, okay. So no, I wasn't just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So I can't read Kyle's first search, because that'll be later. What is Anavar? Anavar. You Googled Anavar. Oh, okay. okay that's, that's, it's a steroid. It's because one of my coworkers, he, he commented that at me on one of our pictures. He's like, let's get you on some Anavar. He's uh, a power lifter. So uh, he's like, we make jokes about steroids. And I didn't know what it was. So, so you I, wanted to. So I looked it up. It's no, a steroid. No, Kyle's low. He's trying to and do so some I bought steroids some, so, uh, I, Yeah, I'm taking needles up the ass now. Cool. It's not working out so far. Um, define dap. Did you not know what dap, what dap meant? Like to no. dap someone up? Oh, it's because I was playing Boggle, and I and I, I saw dap, and I was like, "That's a word." And my sister's like, "That's not a word. Like, that's just a it's a slang thing." Yeah. So Turns out dap it. is a word. It doesn't mean like dap somebody up. But can I can I click on yeah, this? You can click and on see it. See what just to inform everybody. Dap fish by letting the fly bob lightly on the water without exactly. letting the line touch the water. Like a so it's a type of fishing. Like you just tap the water. Like I don't you know. Dap it. It's like a you, word you though. Yeah, you're just dapping <laughs> so the water. So yeah, you're dapping it. You're dapping the water. Yeah, you you dap it. It's like hey, dap it up. Hey, dap. Yeah. yeah. Dap. So that's probably where it comes from. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, like like it's like a like a like you dabble. Like it's like a little dab. Yeah, you dapple. Like, like you dapple. Yeah. Okay. What does All John right. have? Um. So I need to do a disclaimer. My search history has less overall searches than theirs for obvious yeah. reasons john's john was afraid of this no so he i didn't know we were doing this at all and it, every couple months i just got him you know clear just for safekeeping I, I intentionally kept it because i knew we would do this again uh, see i wasn't i didn't think we were doing this we'll never clear it soon. again okay um, i do my i do my sneaky business elsewhere um john <laughs> Susan Serendon. Oh, <laughs> that that was last episode. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that that was from last Serendon. episode. <laughs> what about what about boy in bucket hats? <laughs> why, why, searched boys why, in bucket hats. Why, why boy he, in why did, bucket hats. Why did you look up? I can boy explain. In I have hat. I have an explanation here. So, I was with my other friend Jordan, Jordan Kurtz, and we were chilling at this like just at the, the campfire and uh, we were just sitting there and all of a sudden she goes last year we were here and one of your friends who i'm not going to say the name of but you guys all know who i'm talking about on the fourth of july last year was wearing a bucket hat and she ah. said it looked terrible and <laughs> she sure said she said will you promise me you'll never wear a bucket hat and i said no i think bucket hats are kind of cool i'm kind of down with bucket hats and she said look up pictures of boys in bucket hats and they're fucking they look all terrible no. So I looked it up. She's wrong. They're kind of an ugly hat. I'm not going to no, lie. They're cool. There's there's some people that pulled off. Like, um, what's that What's that rapper? What's that one rapper? Schoolboy? Yeah. He brought, him, ba he brought him back. I can't believe I actually Well, because he, that. like, brought him back. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, but I'm not Schoolboy Q. Like, You're right. You have less, <laughs> way less swag. Yeah. So. <clears throat> okay. Is there All anything right. else you want to um, why did you look up Ryan Gosling monologue about girls? <laughs> because mm. so my buddy or not my buddy, this guy that I am a fan of, uh, Danny Lopriori, he on his Instagram story, he always posts these clips of like really good movie scenes, like his favorite movie scenes when he's watching them. And there was the scene of Ryan Gosling just on some monologue, like ranting to his friends. And I thought it was cool. I looked it up. It's from a movie called Blue Valentine. Oh, so you actually got the name of the movie from that? Yeah, <laughs> that worked. was such a dumb search. <laughs> it was Ryan tough. Gosling I had to do some digging. Monologue about girls. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jordan, you searched, you searched flick watermelon, and then you searched <laughs> man splits watermelon with two flicks. <laughs> so, so, I, so <laughs> flick watermelon. Was your first one? Why did you search that? So can you okay, that? so it was it was one of my coworkers actually oh. who uh, posted on his uh, posted on his story. He said the TikTok world lied to me or something, and I was like, "What?" And it was just a normally cut. Oh no, it wasn't my coworker. It was my friend from Bellingham. My friend from Bellingham. Anyways, he uh, split open a watermelon, and he was like, "The TikTok world lied to me, or the internet world lied to me," 
and um i was like what what do you mean he was like dude look up look, look up this watermelon video where this guy like flicks it and so i go this breaks yeah and i go flick watermelon <laughs> and it didn't really pop up and i was like Man flicks watermelon. Man splits watermelon with two flicks. Did he do it? No. <laughs> it was a lie. He probably just cut it in the yeah, first place I and think, then went like. Mm, no, exactly. Mm. I think he cut it like almost all the way through and then just flicked it. Dude, you can't just flick a watermelon. And no, exactly. Yeah. And I was really curious. I was like, I want to flick a watermelon. It's like people that were, say like. Were you stoned when you searched? Oh that? yeah. I'm sure was. I was like, there's you no. I was. I was like, watermelon. I was, I was like, sober. there's no way you can flick a watermelon in half. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I saw it. You know how Snapchat has like those things where it's like you're not even friends. It's just like these public snap stories kind of. And there's like weightlifting ones. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like those. They're like stories, but it's like just a bunch of random weightlifting ones. Yeah. There was this guy and he was this huge buff guy. And it's like, I bet I bet you can't do this. And it, like he smashed a watermelon in a grocery store with his bare hands. Like he took a watermelon and just it's crushed it, like crushed together. it until it like broke. And it went all over the floor of a grocery store. What's and I would, and then it douche. ends. And I was just thinking, like, how do you – do you just leave or do you go tell someone yeah. this was an accident? Why don't you buy the watermelon and do it outside? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, th- this is random. But so my sister and I have been on this 90-day fiancé kick because she's going to have to do the whole 90-day fiancé thing. Now it's like, oh, you could be like these people. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> it's a funny show. I like shows where you just – you can make fun of people. So this this – girl is like in the airport waiting for her fiance to come from like south africa or something and she brings her friends with her and they bring a bunch of like rose petals and they like sprinkle them all over the airport like all over like a path leading to her and then they have like champagne bottles and when this guy comes up well first of all this like airport guy that works at the airport starts like sweeping up all the petals because it's like bitch, you can't just like put all these petals yeah. in the airport and she was like yelling at him she's like no no like leave them and the guy's like I, I, it's my job. I have yeah. to clean this up. And then they, the guy gets there, and then they're, like, spraying champagne. I'm like, you're in an airport. Yeah. I would be so pissed. Dude, and it's, like, I think some of the stuff, they probably have, like, permit. I mean, I'm sure you have permits from, like, a network to film in an airport. Yeah. But that's still, like, some of that, I still think the airport doesn't want you to do. Like, no. even if you have a permit, I don't think you're supposed to just, like, spray champagne in an airport. And even if, if there's you get other a permit, people around. it's just... I would feel terrible doing it because yeah. it's like, obviously I would clean it up after, but it's like, dude, it's just, it's so extra. Yeah. I hate, I just don't like extra things. Yeah. But like for reality TV, they have to have like, it has to be extra. Like if, if yeah, they didn't do extra stuff, that show wouldn't be that fun just, to watch. I'm just saying if I were the guy showing up and there's like a bunch of rose petals and her friends are standing there with like champagne, I would be like, oh, I don't know. I would be like, okay, I <laughs> cannot walk into this situation. Yeah. I'm just going to fly back to South Africa. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Uh, Jordan, you searched, um, what (laughs) you're interested in Tinder here. You searched, um, what is safe code for Tinder? (laughs) And then you searched how to see Tinder private profile. (laughs) And then is there a way to see hidden profiles on Tinder? Wait, what? So So I thought, okay, this is actually (laughs) a really funny story. When I was up in Bellingham a couple weeks ago. So he was, (laughs) uh, I was with um, I was with one of my friends up in Bellingham, and we were both on Tinder. And I was like, "Yo, I just got this match, and it's from this pretty hot girl." And he's like, "Man, that's cap. You're getting catfished." I was like, "There's no way I'm getting catfished." It's kind of oh. easy to tell, though. And no, it's pretty easy to How tell. How come always the catfish are the people? Like the images are low res. Yeah, and they have the worst grammar. It's no exactly, <laughs> instead exactly. And so I was messaging. I, I started messaging them, and I was and we were. We were like, all right, five bucks if it's a catfish. And then they're like, they were talking like, hey, I'm here, blah, 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 want to hook up. And it wasn't like, I am here. It was oh, just like, that's am an here. immediate it's red like, flag. It's like, am here, am think you're attractive. Am I, think you're attractive. It's I'm like, like some <laughs> Russian guy. I'm like, what? And so, and so they're like, check out my Tinder profile. And so we were like, we should do it just to see and so and so on google i was because i didn't on tinder there's no like setting for a private profile and so i was like on google i was like what's a tinder profile and then she was like wait so they said to you check out my tinder profile no private profile 
private profile. Oh, like a private like, like Tinder a, like profile? Probably like one with nude pictures or something. Wait, That's what, what? I, I don't I'm know. Conf- I don't if know. anyone sends you a link, I'm not a don't big, click on it. I know, but me and my friend were like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, oh, so she sent you a link. Yeah. And you had to click on it. Probably he, though. Probably okay. he. Okay. Yeah, but the link like didn't work. It wasn't like a scam. It wasn't like taking my money. It was like I could, I just – they led nowhere. Okay. The Safari, Safari was like can't access or can't reach – web link okay and so i was like all right and then just she was and then this person was going off about a safe code it was like this is my safe code that so was like, definitely dude, that a is scam. so it was sketch. like it was like it was like this is my safe code to get into my private profile to look at it and i was like i don't know what a fucking safe code is i know what a safe word is i know what a safe word is. <laughs> i know what a safe space is. i know what a safe space is but a safe code mm, i don't know have you guys ever gotten texts from like a random number and they're like hey uh, like this is like, like Sophie. Uh, I like I'm sorry I missed you or or something like we met on Tinder. Yeah, uh, I've never gotten that. And, and then I'm like, you reply and you're like, oh hey, like this isn't Derek. <laughs> yeah, like this isn't who you think. And then and then they send you a picture. It's it's a fake person. They send you like a, a picture of them and they're like, oh well, I c- like maybe we could meet up. <laughs> and then they send you a link. Have yeah. you guys ever gotten those? Like, well, I remember a I've bunch of people got a text. Stuff. Yeah, a bunch of people in our area got a text, and they like knew what city you were in. It was kind of creepy. The hell, I haven't got that exact, but I've got stuff where like, I've got a text, and it was like, "Hey, this is like whatever," and I was like, "Oh, I think you have the wrong number," and then they were like, "Let's meet up today." I know. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah. "Whoa, I don't know who you are. You don't even like, know who I am." Yeah. That that sounds well, like it was probably let's, a scam. Let's but it definitely today. was. Well, yeah, no, I didn't really believe it, but we were like, you know what? Might as if well there are If there are nude pictures, <laughs> might as well send it and see where it leads. Yeah, yeah, but you could just look up porn for free. Yeah, and not get a virus. Yeah, but, but that's again, not as exciting, but again, Kyle. like your last episode, you were talking about like the OnlyFans thing. Yeah, no, I get it's it. It's just like more exciting because you know it's like a real person, like real yeah. life. Mm. I didn't spend any money, guys. It's fine. If I was to catfish, <laughs> I didn't someone, get a virus. It's fine. <laughs> if I was to catfish someone, I would, I would do a better job than most of these Dude, people. I, know. I would do I, such a better job. It's way better There's some job. Dumb catfish. It's either they're all really pictures that are really close to these people's face. They're low res. Low res. Yep. And yep. you just know right off the bat, or it's one picture of a hot girl, mm-hmm. and it has yeah, like you can't, no info. You, you would can't, have so you much can't more. swipe to any other pictures. Nah. Yeah. It's or the like, bio is like really horny. Like, no, you're not. Well, you might be, but you're a dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on to Kyle's searches here. Derek from Big Brother. Oh, uh, it was just a guy on Big Brother. But, I mean, why did you want to know more about Because I was trying to show my sister who he was. Okay. <laughs> very unexciting. <laughs> he looks like a pig. Or like a, he's got like a very scrunched face. What's wrong with my face? <laughs> <laughs> you typed in what? <laughs> what's wrong with my face? I think that I, I'll be honest. I don't remember searching that. I think it was probably because I was gonna search that for um, for the why'd you Google that, and then I I didn't get a satisfactory answer. Okay. Like that popped up, and I thought that was funny. Yeah, and it didn't really lead anywhere. At least I think. Otherwise, yeah, I, I may have just googled that's, that. That's probably right because you googled it right after do narwhals have sex, <laughs> which was probably also part of the. <laughs> I definitely, yeah. But that, I think that's kind of a dumb thing to Google because how else would they reproduce? No, yeah, yeah, that was dumb. That's why I didn't click on it. Or that's why I didn't, didn't use it because it just it. said, yes, narwhals do have sex. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was hoping like maybe they do it in some funky way with like the horn or something and they're just like <laughs> <laughs> horn fuck them. I don't know. Is Hungarian a language? I, it's not, right? I don't know. That's a valid. That's a good search. I, <laughs> I mean, can't remember who I was debating with, but it was like Hungarian language. When you live in Hungary. It's, I think Hungarian it's like Hungarian Magyar. Uh, it's a group of the Uralic language family spoken primary, primarily in Hungary. Yeah, it is a language. Oh, shit. Puff bar, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Addiction. Dude, it's just so much weed in here. It's, it's literally weed in my bookie. <laughs> Kyle, you're, what do you mean? Yours only goes to July 17th, you bitch. Really? Yeah. I definitely didn't reset Wait, it. Maybe it just stopped. John? There. Yeah. Why, why did you search up 
Little Sis. <laughs> okay, that sounds weird. It's it's little size is a pizza oh, place. Okay, yeah. I, all right. Little I sis. Swear. All Kyle right. knows. No, sis. I, don't, I don't know what you're don't talking look. about. Don't look. Little There's sis. There's little size pizza. I don't. I don't. Oh, see little, little sis. Size. Little sis. <laughs> you little deleted sis it. He just deleted it. Yo. Wow, little sis pizza. <laughs> That's interesting, John. God. John wants to be a pizza that guy. Was... He wants little sis to come in. <laughs> hey, big bro. Check out this pizza. Stop. <laughs> It's a pizza place. Why is the box so close to your <laughs> your groin? Guys, uh, open and find out. Kyle and I went on a hike. No, there's, we, there's little side pizza. When we came drink. back from the hike, I mm. called my mom to ask where we should get food. And she said there's this pizza place called Little Size. Little Sis. Because there's a mountain <laughs> called Mount Sai, which is S-I. <laughs> so sis. I searched Little Size and hit enter, but it didn't do an apostrophe. <laughs> so it looks like Little Sis. We'll okay. go with that. And uh, why did you Google guys wearing football pants? <laughs> <laughs> That's also from the That's podcast. Oh, oh, oh! Did you watch that clip of the football pants? I don't, no, uh, I don't think Dude, so. Dude, that was like the hardest I've laughed in a long time. <laughs> wow, Dude. this is making me look really weird. This episode, <laughs> guys in bucket hats, guys in football pants, little sick. <laughs> the guys in football pants was because Kyle and I were talking about how girls think guys in football pants look good and okay. then someone messaged us and said i don't like they're from the europe or something and they're like like what does that mean like i don't really know what oh. that means so i they're probably thinking like soccer shorts yeah so i sent yeah. him a picture and the f the best example that pops up is colt mccoy in college <laughs> <That's> so, <laughs> <random. So. laughs> colt mccoy yeah um yeah dude um i was gonna say like i'm, I'm gonna wear like football pants to john's wedding because like it was, I don't even know how we got there, but we were like, dude, we're like, instead of wearing a suit, why don't I just wear football pants and I could just wear like a blazer and then football pants. With so like, people with get like pads. Yeah. No, no pads. Just oh. football pants. I could wear a girdle maybe. I was thinking the pads. I could just wear full uniform. I could go full uniform. <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh, John's going to meet a girl first. Um, <laughs> the rest of it is just weed. <laughs> <laughs> I swear like 80% of this is weed. Or wax. Can you rattle off like four or five weed yeah. ones real quick? Hops and drops, happy hour, um, shop in Redmond, uh, smoke infix, pod style, disposable, pod style, pen style, smoke infix, pink unicorn strain, and wow. then it goes to nine pound hammer, aka nine pound. What the fuck is nine pound hammer? <laughs> it's a marijuana strain. Okay, oh Barry God. White, aka Barry White marijuana strain. Jeez. Holy shit. Raspberry Skywalker. <laughs> Fat Panda. I'm interested and I want to know what I'm <laughs> buying. She's a connoisseur. I want to know shit. what I'm buying Tropic and how it Thunder. affects me. I'll Tropicana <laughs> cookies. Black cherry soda. Marijuana strain information. <laughs> All right. That is the rest of Jordan's search history is just weed. Okay. Well, let's see what else we can find in Kyle's. 15 searches about backyard baseball. Yeah, dude. I was really trying to figure out how to play backyard baseball. Uh, Cause I have the PC disc and like, I don't have a PC or like a, you know, the disc uh, slot. Yeah. Um, and I just really want to play backyard baseball. This was like a little while back. And that was the the only way you can do it is if you get like a, yeah, I bought like a, dude, I got like 10 bucks for this little like thing on Amazon. You can plug it in. I was playing all my old computer games for a couple of weeks. It, Wait, it was worth 10 backyard bucks. Backyard baseball reminds me. We're, when was the last time we all hung out? I don't know why. I don't know. Dude. Must have been in my dream then, because <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, we were all together, right? And you were talking about you know that flick baseball game on the iPhone. Th this is definitely a dream. Yeah, you, yeah. Because do I you don't... not have it downloaded anymore? I do. Do you play it a lot? No, oh, I haven't played it like a totally year. Totally a dream then. <laughs> it's super weird. You said you were grinding. Backyard baseball reminded me of it. You said you were grinding really hard and flick baseball, and you had a new record. I've and been then, grinding um and then I crush and then I crush your world record in three hours in my dream. Damn, oh. bro. Wow. Yo, I had a dream three hours working on yep. baseball. Yep. Mm. This is so like perfect for describing Kyle. Like, cause we were talking about on the, the mountain episode. Kyle will get into a game, he'll go hard for a couple for like weeks, a month. And, and then, then he'll just, forget about then it. Then he just hates it and won't touch it, but it goes in cycles. Yeah, no, I haven't played it. And then, he'll get, baseball and then he'll get Restaurant Story again, and then he'll quit it. And he'll get big, no, big I think story. Restaurant Story, he's done I think I've retired from Restaurant Story. Yeah. That was a long, long, yeah, long journey. Yeah, you, like, because you peaked. You reached the, like, the top level. In middle school. Kyle literally yeah. peaked in <laughs> middle was school. It. Like, he was the maximum level. The same with Zombie Farm. Um, Back in the I Touch days. 
Gina Moosey. I don't know why I searched that. Who is that? I don't know. Click on her. <laughs> she hot? Op ophthalm ophthalmic technician. I don't know who this is. Is that a doctor? I don't know why <laughs> I searched that. I, I think Okay, I don't remember why I searched this. I think I thought it was a celebrity and it sounded like a celebrity and then I googled it cuz like that name popped into my head. And I was like, "Wait, who is that?" Or I thought somebody Gina I thought I saw somebody Musi. I was like, "That seems like Gina Musi." And then so I searched it and it's not a celebrity. So I don't know. Okay. I don't know. All right, we got a few more here. Awkward. What's Awkward? What? A U K then space bird. Ock bird. Oh, it's an uh, it's a type of bird. Wait, what? Click on it. I don't know why I searched that. <laughs> yeah, it's a type of bird called an auk. Let me see. It's like a penguin, sort of. It looks like a penguin, but they're. <laughs> why the fuck did I search that? I don't know why I searched that. When was that? An auk or alcid. Alcid is a bird of the family Alcidae. In okay, couldn't tell you. Where do they live? It doesn't even say where they live. Oh, Iceland, I think. Were you think, talking about Iceland? I don't oh, know. Iceland, Finland, Russia, like Norway, Sweden. Up there scares me. I'll be honest. I've been watching it's a really lot of cold. like creepy, no, creepy like horror movies. A lot of stuff goes down Dude, up in those northern yeah. countries. Yeah, because it's dark as shit in the yeah. winter and it's scary. And it's like, it's oh cold my and God. dark. I would never yeah. visit Norway with you. I'm sorry. Dude, Norway's really cool no. in the summer. So, I, I would mid, go in the summer. Mid summer. <laughs> yeah, we, dude, we can go to Norway for midsummer. I don't want to go to Norway for no, midsummer. It's not, it's not like that. Oh, it's no. totally like no, that. You don't not. know that. It's Except not that like took that. place in Sweden. We could go there and hang out with Tobias and go to do midsummer stuff. The la- the movie I watched last night called The Ritual on Netflix. It was a horror place, movie by yourself. Is it was like oh, is that where they're like in a forest? Yeah, it was like half horror, half like monster. You Ew. know, did it suck or was it good? No, it was pretty good, dude. You you would love like the editing and the camera. Dude, some of the scenes were just <laughs> yeah. That's safe. Okay. Yeah, uh, I loved it. Oh. Kyle, what is Calypso drink? Cal- Cali- oh, it's the lemonade. It's the lemonade. What's that? The, you, you get from any gas station or even QFC, the Calypso. Oh. Yeah, it's lemonade. Why'd you, why'd you Google that? Again, I have no <laughs> idea why I Googled that. I think someone like mentioned it and I Googled it. Is creatine bad for you? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure. I, I wanted to make sure that like... No, it's good for you. It's pretty good. It's I'm not actually... Like, it's not... It's, it's, it, very, it's beneficial for you, but you don't need it. I know that if you do too much, though, it can, like, affect your liver and oh, your yeah. kidneys and shit. I don't, that, I don't, that's, like, what I want I don't, to know. Yeah, I don't do it all year round. I go in, like, cycles. <laughs> what? How, how come my family hates me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was for the that was for the Google thing. <laughs> and I wanted to see if, like, a funny answer came up. Uh, nothing did, so I uh, uh, so cool. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's not because my family hates me. Uh, how big they, is your PP? Hmm. Good times yeah bad times actually um all right well that's kind of the extent of kyle's searches over the last couple months i skipped a ton of sports ones so yeah dude there's a lot of like nba reference nfl reference yeah there's a lot of sports and kyle's a lot of <clears throat> weed on mine <clears throat> john's you can see clear. if there's anything left <laughs> you googled wiener on sa- on saturday <laughs> yeah it's because dude you're making me seem so gay <laughs> it's be- well sis wiener <laughs> what was the other one it was <laughs> Lil Sis Wiener football fan. <laughs> <laughs> it's because okay, so recently, um, we've had clips that I post on TikTok or like Instagram, and on TikTok, if you say like penis or dick, the post gets deleted. Mm-hmm. And so I use Wiener as a replacement word for some of the posts, um, because posts about dicks seem to get a lot of views for whatever reason. Wait, so but we had the our top thing on TikTok says dicks in it though. All I know is I posted something and it got deleted. Oh. N- not not our top one, but one of them got deleted. Good thing it wasn't. And so one. I I reposted it with the word wiener, but I didn't know if it's E I or I E. What is it? It's I E. I always say E I. Yeah, that's what I thought. Whoa. Mm, maybe it's W E. I'm I'm oh, pretty I. confident in my spelling and grammar, but the I E E I thing, every it's word, tough. every I word, after E except after C, up. but then there's W. No, weird that's is exactly, weird. That's exactly it. English makes no sense. Like there, there, there. I get that. The people don't get that. Still, I know, and that pisses and me so off. Really you're, 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 you're. It's like, dude, it's not that hard. Uh, now, if we were to go on private browser and there's a search history, history for that, that mm, would be fun. That no, I actually something. don't even use my private browser. Oh, for porn, you don't even use it. 
Nah, Google Chrome has a faster speed rate. Oh, wow. <laughs> really got it planned out. <laughs> so do you delete that search history? That one's on private browser. Okay. Yeah. It's in a different app, in a different private I understand, browser. Yeah. It's pretty deep. You can't touch me, man. Mm, okay. So I have another story. Um, it was from work. Recently, we just uh, I work at a gym. We just opened up, and we don't check in with your like finger scan anymore because of COVID, obviously. And so we have this app, right? And it's totally free, and all you have to do is type in your phone number and your date of birth to log into your account. Yeah. And it's literally like a step-by-step. It says, confirm, you don't have COVID. Confirm, like, you agree to the terms and the conditions. And it's just button. You just, It literally says, like, agree, click here, click here. Yeah. And people come in like, hey, I was having trouble with your app. And I said, <laughs> what do you mean? They go, how do I check in? And I say, pull it up. And they pull it up. And I go, right there. Claim where it says, no, no, it says, because it says, check in the club. And they go, oh. I go, <laughs> what? You didn't you you couldn't figure that out at home like thirty minutes ago I and am. then and then they go all right what do I do from here and it literally has a blue button that says confirm and it's like a health and it's at the top it says health check confirm you don't have COVID and it goes at the bottom confirm and I'm like they go what do I do next I go confirm you don't have COVID yeah <laughs> and I'm like oh my god it's like I get it different generation we have we're really good at technology or whatever. But like, if it's step by step like that, I know. I think you should be able to get it at any age. I'm in the same boat as you I'm because like, <laughs> I also work at a gym and we just opened back up and we are having the exact dude, same thing. I'm like, it is so annoying, mm. dude. I like my dad is like that with techno. Like my dad is very skillful and like he's not the type of person who like can't figure something out on his own. But when but it comes technology. to technology, I think it's like. I think technology to older people is so overwhelming that they just don't even bother to learn it. They're just like, I'm a let's it's like if I went to like Germany, I'm not even going to bother to try and learn German. If I'm there for like a couple months, I'm going to just let people tell me what to do and explain everything to me because trying to learn it is just way too much. I think that's what it is with older people in technology. Yeah, but, but like it's not going to go away. Yeah, though. Like It's, it's, it's around. only going to become more relevant. Yeah, but I think they assume like I can get buy with pe- never having to learn this and just having people tell me what to they, do they think they're gonna die soon Lazy. Probably. <laughs> they go i'm gonna die before this advances yeah i don't know <laughs> dude it is funny when you can tell that like they didn't even try they it before did, they yeah, came no, exactly, in yes, exactly because they, yes. they, they're like what do i do from here i'm like you you like just do if it. you if you tried before you came in you would know you would know because it literally says step by step i know and yeah. that was my story. I feel your pain. I had to vent to the Pim's audience. I'm sorry, guys. No, and like, you know how if you're on your computer, let's say you're trying to do something on like, I don't know, through your emails, like something pretty straightforward where it's like, all right, you got to click here. You got to like click where it says add attachment to add an attachment. Like I feel to, to us, yeah, this it's stuff simple. seems self-explanatory. Like if you want to. It's wanna, like you, you click the button to go to the next thing. And then it's like you click the next button. That makes sense. And there's usually a button that says confirm or okay yeah. or yes. Do people can't even figure out remote controls like oh, the TV? No. <laughs> like I have to. Like, no, not gonna lie. Some remotes so, are kind of confusing well, though. I, like if yeah, you never, because now there's like the whole guide and then info and then there's like the A, B, and C for sports and then there's also still though like you click it once and then you know it. Yeah, that's true. But that's I true. will say remotes are more confusing for me because it, it seems like a bunch of different providers and different TVs have different types of remotes. Yeah, that's true. Like, Whereas yeah. like an iPhone, just an iPhone and like an email is an email, you know? Yeah. So like, I don't, I don't know, but, but you could look at different types of phones as the different remotes. That's Android true. Versus, that's, but yeah, I, I, mean, I wouldn't be as good on an Android. There'd be some things I couldn't do on an Android. Yeah, but you could figure it out. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> um, so speaking of technology, I was going through our YouTube analytics the other day for the peak to middle school channel. We're at 920 subscribers. When we get to a thousand, we can monetize our channel, which means we can make like a dollar a month. Let's off go of YouTube views. <laughs> so that means 50 cents to Kyle, 50 cents 49 to, to John, one to me, uh, yeah. one more cent to Kyle for gas money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, so I was diving through our YouTube analytics and what's super interesting is they, they got like some in-depth stats in there 
And one of them is they tell you what percentage of the people that watch your videos are subscribed to your channel and what percentage are not. And at 30, so you can see the cheaters and liars. Yeah. So 34% of our views are people that are not subscribed to our channel. Which means that if you're listening to this right now and you're not subscribed, you should just subscribe. Sub it up. Yeah, it's why? Free. It's totally free. It's not like Twitch. It's yeah. like we were just talking about. You see a big red button that says subscribe. You just click. You it. just, just click, click it. it. Why are people anti-subscribe? I think it, I think it's a lot of people who probably like don't sign into their account. Yeah, they probably just use YouTube and like don't really have an account. Well, fuck yeah, you. Yeah, but YouTube's free. Subscribing's free. Honestly, out of every like w- website that like. There's a lot of websites you can use where you don't need an account. Like you can go look at stuff on Twitter with no account. Yeah. If you like search it or whatever. I feel like out of all the websites to have an account for, YouTube is the one that's like the most useful because you can pr- like you subscribe to the stuff that you want so yeah. that when you get on YouTube, all you see is like if you're really into like fucking golf, your YouTube is catered to where your everything you see is like the stuff you want to see. Whereas on I'm, Twitter, you just see a bunch of random yeah, bullshit. My yeah, but you filled can just with follow people that you want to follow on Twitter. But but even on Twitter, you see so much get, stuff from people you don't follow. Yeah, you know that's true. With that being said, before we hop into the segments here, one thing that I've seen on Twitter that I think was kind of interesting is it there was there there was this trend that said describe your favorite sports moment in history in the most boring <laughs> yeah. way possible. Mm-hmm. So. First, I wanted to ask you guys, what is your did favorite you, sports moment? Did you see moment? my tweet a while ago? It was like uh, running back gra- takes ball and Grabs runs in runs in ed zone while grabbing nutsack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but mm-hmm. b- but before we do the boring one, just what's your is that your favorite sports moment? The Marshawn it's, touchdown. Yeah. Well, also Chris Bosh tweeted like I got a rebound and made a pass. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It's, so it's it's it really for me because I Miami Heat baby. I love the Heat. Um. And I love the Seahawks. Honestly, a Sonics moment. We didn't have very many good Sonics moments. Not that moments. many before. No, we don't and really. so, yeah. for me, and I'm not that into Mariners, but go M's. <laughs> um, Sucks, so, dude. yeah, dude, for me, that Marshawn run, that first Beast Quake, or the Ray Allen three-pointer. Back out to Allen. Bang! Yeah, that's like yeah. an iconic. Or blocked by James. Blocked by James. Yeah, yeah. it's just Mike Breen. Yeah, I yeah. also remember. I remember lose just the most I ever remember losing my mind about a sporting like moment is when the Seahawks when like they f- won their first Super Bowl with Russell Wilson. I feel like it wasn't like, when they won though. It was it, it was, was when they the, snapped when the ball got snapped over Peyton Manning's head in the yeah, end zone. Yeah, that was a big yes. one. And then we were all at my house, right? Uh, no, I was. No, at your house. I, someone was I? I was here with like Willig and like his. There's a bunch of food here. And, I was like, there for that. I was there for like different Super Bowls. Oh, um, but then I also another one was when Percy Harvin returned the kick for a touchdown. In yeah, the second half. that's like that iced the game. Um, Kyle, what's like your one favorite sports memory? Yeah, moment? I'm trying to think. I feel like um, one of them has to be Felix's perfect game. Uh, another one is my favorite like sports moment that I've seen in person was Ichiro hitting a walk off grand slam off that Mariano Rivera. That was sick. Uh, I think Ichi. it was a grand slam. It was walk off home run, and I was like. I saw it right there, and it was just awesome. And that was like peak Mariners happiness for me. Yeah, and, and like that's sad that that's my peak Mariners happiness. But did they make the playoffs that year? No. Nope. <laughs> so they? so describe them in the most boring way possible. Uh, lefty hits ball far <laughs> <laughs> to win. No, uh, no. He just, well, lefty yeah, hits ball he, far. I guess he did just hit it far. And it, lefty hit ball far, and then uh. Uh, pitcher threw ball and no one uh, hit it. Yeah, pitcher, pitcher pitched and no one got hit. No <laughs> one got hit. I don't know. <laughs> okay. And another back pitcher th- threw ball good. Pitcher threw, pitcher ball, threw good. ball good. <laughs> and then another one. Sports memory is Dame's buzzer beater. Oh, uh, well, he against he's he got two. two, both of them, but more the second one because that one was yeah. more personal because it was against the Thunder. How describe that one in the most boring way possible? Dame takes. Quote, bad shot. Oh. Because Paul uh, George called it a bad shot. Get it? Yeah. Yeah. Guard, point guard Dane shoots. makes far shot. Point guard shoots, bad shot, waves by. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I feel like we're just talking like Kevin from the office pretty right much. Um, cool. All right. Well, okay. So the other week, we got a comment from someone that I told Kyle about, but I haven't said on the podcast. But he, he said he's from South Africa, and he said that to him – we have 
the like the most stereotypical like stereotypical perfect american accent in the sense well, of like, i mean what he thinks of when he thinks plateau of white boys i i would agree yeah i don't really i don't know what we say different i mean it's weird because it's like to us it's just i think we normal. just pronounce everything very we we just pronounce every syllable well and we just pronounce everything in the most like vanilla way yeah but yeah exactly the yeah most, we're just we're, vanilla exactly yeah. dude we're just super vanilla I want to be Australian, dude. That'd be way cooler. But even it's weird because even to me, I feel like I would agree. Like I feel like we speak in the baseline way, and like everything is compared to the way we speak. I think. Yeah, it's hard because I don't know if that's actually true or if that's just that's what I think because that's how I sound. You yeah, know? yeah. Like, do you think people in the South compare like? Do you think they even because we say like a Southern accent, a New York accent? Do you think they have like a Northwest? Do they say that like a Northwest accent? Probably like a West Coast. A we- yeah, we're probably yeah. part of the West Coast group. Yeah, but I don't know because there's like a West Coast, like normal West Coast, and then there's like a surfer West Coast, which is not us. Yeah, so, I don't know. But it's just interesting because, like, when I guess to this guy, when he thinks of the U.S., it's like because there's so many variations. Like, there's South, then there's like Boston, which is different than New York. Yeah, and there's, and there's, like there's Jersey, like Jersey. There's Michigan. And then as you go down, Midwest. there's like Florida's different than Georgia, and like Virginia's also weird too. Florida, Texas is weird. How's Florida? What does Florida do that's different? Dude, I don't know, but I know it's different. <laughs> I think some of them just don't really know how to talk very well. Well, yeah, like down in Louisiana, they don't really think they speak English. They just <laughs> kind of they have like Tom, a they act literally like the older a, people. There's a Netflix special or like a comedy thing by Tom Segura. On, uh, and he's like talking about i'm all for building a wall if it's around the fucking state of louisiana <laughs> yeah dude that, that state's gonna go underwater soon yeah yo like, literally on joe rogan's podcast he was saying that historic or historians or um geologists is that the word people who like study rocks and shit yeah <laughs> they think their speculation is that yosemite and all these enormous volcanoes like Yosemite at a, is a volcano. I know. Every <laughs> I think you said every two hundred to four hundred thousand years, oh, shit. they're expected to explode. That's like what they're supposed to do, and it's been over two hundred thousand years since the last Yosemite explosion. But it could be four hundred thousand years. So it, no, it, you're right. It could. But his point was that we could be past due for a Yosemite explosion, and if it did explode, tight. it would wipe out the entire continent. That's terrifying. If it if Those Yosemite exploded, Amer- everything in America would or everything in North America would not exist. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I mean, like, isn't that fucking insane? I just, just die, and that's just kind of like a mat. But imagine if, like, if something went off in Asia right now, let's say, and all of destroyed. Asia just did not exist anymore. It was just blackened. That would be absolutely like what would the world do, bro? I don't know. We're barely getting through a pandemic. <laughs> yeah, right now. <laughs> I can't even imagine. I don't know, dude. Yeah, think about like well, I was gonna say think about Trump's speech, but he'd be dead too. But think about Trump giving a speech about an entire continent just died, what he would say, and how insensitive he would probably be about it. <laughs> yeah, no, it would not be good. How many people he would offend. Yeah. A lot of the people that he would offend would be dead. That's that's true. <laughs> so that's true. Okay. Well. Um all right, we'll hop into the segments here, guys. Today we have fan questions and why'd you Google that? Yep. So I put up on the story to uh to ask us questions right before we started recording. So we'll do fan questions after this to give people a little more time. Sweet. So for why'd you Google that? I got do dogs get tired of barking? valid question i hope I've they do but heard, i don't think i've do. actually heard they don't and they do not dogs do not get tired of barking but a tired dog may bark less all dogs bark which is kind of strange because i've had dog a dog in the past that i maybe only heard bark twice in rosie? my yeah yeah i never heard rosie bark rosie never barked but all dogs like i guess inherently do bark but uh, there's a lot of different reasons why dogs do bark. So do you guys want to learn why some dogs bark? Yes. Okay. So that's technically their voice, it says. And it's used for fear, alarm, as a form of greeting, or even boredom. 
So, they're just bored. Yeah, dude, I get, I get that. So they're bored like, and they just go. Arr, arr, arr. So like, so it's kind of like annoying. me. Like if I'm or my my sister is a better example. If she's just bored and no one's talking and we're in a car ride, she'll just start fucking talking, even if no one cares. So Morgan's kind of like a dog, but she would probably get tired at some point. <laughs> no, she's a tireless. She just will talk nonstop. Oh. Yeah, interesting. It's I love her, but it's like. You know, we could go like an hour without saying something every once in a while. Okay. Do I, do I feel like cats are probably the same way? Because I have, my cats are so vocal and they don't shut up until I give them like treats or Maybe something. you don't, yeah, you don't give them enough attention, Kyle. They're bored. That's their problem. They can entertain themselves. <laughs> yeah. Go up so, in the attic. There you go, guys. Learn something new every day. Okay. Well, I decided to Google, mine's also dog related. I said, can humans eat dog food? Um <laughs> It says dog food isn't designed for the unique nutrition needs of humans. Though it is made from ingredients that are technically safe, safe for humans to eat, thus not inherently toxic for human beings. Um, oh. and it, it can be safe for an emergency situation, but you could also Whoa. get like foodborne illnesses. But so wow, that's actually like, interesting. If you need to eat something, you can eat your dog food because <laughs> it's made of like chicken and like it's just like processed in a weird way. The fuck, I don't know. That's interesting. So if we were in a zombie apocalypse and you were like in your house and all you got left is that sixty-pound bag of dog food, you got you could last a while. <laughs> yeah, that's ew. dude. How bad? Do you think that would make you throw up though? Yes, it doesn't. So it it's not really beneficial because then you're just gonna vomit up food. I don't know. You know? Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, moving on here, guys, to our fan questions. Mm. This is my one of my favorite parts of every week. So if you guys are uh, new around here or haven't asked us a question, go follow us on Instagram at Pim's Podcast and DM us. Or anytime we ask you for questions on the story, go let us know. Go ask some questions. Oh, <laughs> okay. This is a good one. This will, this will be the first one. We might do a few because we got a bunch of good questions. <laughs> Who would win in a fight between all of y'all's like friend group? Me. Let's rank the order <clears throat> and the placing that everyone would get. Hmm. So oh, who are we including in this? So well, well, am I okay? Are we all just like sober and like healthy? <laughs> right. Yeah, we're yeah. sober and healthy right now. Well, but healthy. It's Shim, me, Kyle, Willig, Chris, Chief. They don't really know Chief though. That's fine. Okay. He'd we, lose. We can describe Yeah, him. he'd lose. He's <laughs> kind of the, he's kind the, of the knee and he's done. He's the Taco Time soft burrito of our group. He is. He is the soft burrito <laughs> of our friend group. <laughs> that's kind of like a mean way, but no, it's no, kind no, of it's an accurate way of describing it's, it's him. It's literally now. like a high school joke. We call him yeah. soft burrito. Yeah. <laughs> and he he's would, not like fat he's, at all. No. It's just, no. like, just like it's just the personality. <laughs> and I just know I could I could get him down quickly because of his knees. He's got really bad knees. Yeah, like he might got a couple inches on Kyle, but I can dodge a punch and just take him down with a knee, and he's done. I just have anger issues, and I'm aggressive. But, but in this scenario, you wouldn't have you could that. You punch yourself out quick. Like, you wouldn't want to beat up your friend, so you wouldn't have that. Yeah, but if you guys like started anger. coming at me, like maybe tickling me, I'd go off. Why would I tickle you? I'm trying to <laughs> fight gonna, like, you. To get me down. All to, the to get me down. Tickle Jordan. If you, if you tickle me, yeah, I'm immediately on the ground. But then if you tickle me like for longer than five minutes, I get angry and I kick you off. But I think if you're that enraged, I don't think you could even be tickled. <laughs> that's that's yeah. true. Like that's you'd have true. so much I adrenaline just... that you probably wouldn't even laugh. <laughs> you'd probably like Yeah. Just yeah. kill us. Shim, do you think that if you were benching, let's say you were max benching and okay. someone came and tickled your stomach? Oh dude, I would drop the weight and it would <laughs> chop my neck off, my head off. You don't think you could like control the like no. your emotions? No. You gotta dude, learn how to fight through. Adversity. I hate being tickled, dude. I just, I can't. God, God yeah. just said, you know what? This guy's gonna be so just ticklish and immune, like not immune to uh, the armpits and the mm, the yeah. upper rib cage. And God or whoever said this guy's gonna sweat for me. Yeah. Yeah. Sucks. Do you think that if you if you were to be pinned down to a table, like? A, like a psych ward and we just tickled you constantly would you get to a point where the tickling no, did not affect you? I would probably you? I would probably get to a point where I start crying and having anxiety attacks whenever you come to the room. Just pass out. <laughs> okay, so wait, who's going to win in a fight? We got to win them. in a fight. I think Shim could beat me. Do you if think he's do you think you could put up a fight? I think you could I think you could land a few punches on me and like take me down, but like I don't know cuz you get like I'm someone that I don't really rage. 
But when I rage, I rage. Yeah, but when I and rage, you guys haven't really seen I that. Rage. When we that's, all that's rage, that's we can true. all get, yeah, get that's, in that's, rage that's, mode. That's true. But there are some people like like Chris. I can't really see Chris. Like I can't. Yeah, I don't Chris see Chris or him. Will like putting up much of a fight. No, to be honest, no. I can't see Chris They're fighting not fighters. And I'm not a fighter either. But I think I could take both of them. I think Shim could literally knock out. A couple of our friends in one punch <laughs> if he made good contact. He'd probably take Chris and Willig's heads and slam them together. Dude, it's like, be I wouldn't even go for the – if we're fighting, I'm not even going for the punch. I'm going for the takedown. I'm just going to drag your head into the concrete and oh. scrape your face. Shim has wow. taken one jujitsu class, he told I me. I know how to arm bar. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll just keep my arms to my – No, my I, know, I know how to leverage you with my hips. I wouldn't let you touch my arms. <laughs> I okay. would run. Around, I would run around the bases, a, and I'm faster than Jordan running around the bases. So I could. Kyle's just running around. <laughs> Kyle's just running around a baseball field. The Jordan just can't time. catch me. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I would bring. I would bring metal cleats too, so I could kick people, and stomp on okay, them. Okay, but that's no. That's cheating. No, just bare hands. Okay, regular fight. If we're just in a fist fight, I think Shim wins. I think I'm, I think I'm in third place. Probably Johnson. So I think Kyle and I would. It would be tough. Like I think, <laughs> it would be a battle. I don't really want to fight anybody. And that's I'm not just to say, not no, that's not even to say I'm a, like a really good fighter. It's just to say that I feel like I'm the, I can get the most aggressive and I'm the strongest. And I also like, <laughs> I've never been in like a real fist fight, so I don't know how I would be. Yeah. yeah. Like, I might do one punch and I punch the wrong way and, and then like <laughs> break my wrist. <laughs> yeah, John punches like with his hand like this. Or just like you pop them, your knuckles start bleeding and like bruising really fast and you go, ah, that really hurt. Yeah. I feel yeah. like I throw one punch and I'd be like, ow. <laughs> And then you try and use your opposite hand. I can't punch my left hand, dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, dude. All right, I so wouldn't be able to punch my left hand. The answer is shim. Um, all right, Kyle. Would you rather only eat breakfast food forever or never be able to jerk off again? For, that, uh, I'm sure that's, that's directed at me. I, 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 would eat breakfast at you. I would eat breakfast food. <laughs> but it's, it's just jerking off. You can still have sex. I... Mmm... <laughs> that's that's, that's actually tough. pretty tough. Uh, I think I would eat breakfast food forever and, and like ever. I don't want to ever. Yeah, that that would actually suck. You know what? Maybe I wouldn't do that. I don't. I think I'd just be celibate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's people who be celibate for their whole life. Yeah, so I, you know, I think I can handle it. Well, you see, just gotta make it till you get a wife. And if I can good. go through a month, I think I can be fine. It's, it's just getting to that month. month threshold. Yeah, I think I'd just I I'd uh yeah. <laughs> I I'd eat whatever I want and then just you know cut the jerking off probably. Yeah. <clears throat> As Americans, do you realize how fucked up you pronounce the word mirror? How are we supposed to mirror? say mirror? Mirror. It's a mirror. mirror. Well, how do they say it? Mi do you say mirror? Mirror. 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 Check a look in the mirror. How do? No, I'm looking at the. Who who asked that question? We didn't. Steve. Oh, Steve. Steve asked. Well, he's British. How do look up how do British people say mirror? How to pronounce? Oh, there's a whole there's videos about how to pronounce it in British English. All so right. this must be like a common. Mirror. I think it's mirror. Maybe it's mirror. 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 Think, instead of like a mirror. Wait. wait. <laughs> mirror. Mirror. Why is he guy? Mirror. Why does that guy seem like he's whispering? Mirror. Oh, because we can. Wait, listen, listen. Ew. It's it's kind Mi of the same thing. No, they thing. just pronounce the rur more because we go mirror. mirror. Yeah, we, we go say we go mirror. mirror. We, we go I mirror. say M E E R like a meerkat. Yeah, yeah I, I go like mirror. mirror. And yeah. we say like me, and they say wait mirror. 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 That's so weird. Look mirror. in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> it just it's it seems harder to say. Like yeah, yeah it takes longer. If you're rhyming. Mirror rhymes with a lot more than mirror. <laughs> mirror. <laughs> Take a look in the mirror. <laughs> All right. I'll find okay. one more. Yeah, do one more good one. Uh, okay. By the way, guys, if we don't answer your question this week, it doesn't mean we don't have it. We screenshot every single question. So we will get to them if it's good. And if, you know, if we get better questions, then we probably will skip yours if it sucks. Um. Okay. Esaragi. I don't know how to say that name. Okay. Either way. Which athlete do you dislike the most? Sports question. Yeah, I had to go with the sports question. The sports questions always kind of tickle my fancy. Yeah. Um, Least favorite athlete. Mine. The current. Let's just do current. Let's do do, current. do one current, one okay. all time. Yeah. Russell Westbrook is up there. I don't know if he's my least favorite. Least favorite might be James Harden. 
of all I, time or currently? Um, I gotta think. Who else have I just hated? Dude, currently, right now, my least favorite is Paul George. Yeah, I don't like Paul George. I really like. I used to respect him. I yeah, don't like him right now. He's kind of. A what bitch. about him? Don't you, don't you guys like? Uh, he's he talks just, so much shit. He's talking he hasn't shit. Done shit. He's talking shit. He keeps switching teams from Indiana to OKC. Now he's in LA with Kawhi and Pat Bev. Like he's just he's ring chasing because he can't win it by himself. And he's talking shit like he's done shit, and yeah. he hasn't done shit. And yes, I I agree. He's with that. just being really disrespectful, talking shit, and he has no place to talk shit. And he's Dame's pretty, he's pretty damn good. He's yeah. a good player, but you can't talk that much shit. You can't talk shit about like he was talking to Dame. Yeah, he would. Yeah, Dame like single handedly brought his team to the conference finals last year. Yeah, he Paul George has had like David West and George Hill and Roy Hibbert one year, and then in Indiana, and then OKC. Russ. He had Russ Russell Westbrook. He had uh like what Sergi. Was Sergi Baca back there? He's just, no, no, he was. He's in, just butthurt that uh, Dame hit a shot over him. That's yeah. at home. My dad asked me. He said it. Who do you think the top fifth? Or he said is Paul George in top top fifteen in the league right now? Mm. And I think he's borderline. I think he's borderline. I, think he's borderline. I would say top twenty. Yeah, uh, all time. Who do I hate, dude? There's got to be some um, pitcher or somebody that I just hate. Uh oh, Derek Jeter. I've always hated Derek Jeter. He's a bitch. We too pecked, man. Fuck Re Derek Jeter. We too pecked. He's so, mm, he just he. he his like little throws where it's like dude, he jumps all time and throws, not that might cool. be Jason Terry. What? <laughs> Why? What's That's wrong so with Jason random. Terry? I hate when LeBron the Jet when, when LeBron was in Miami and absolutely destroyed his entire career on that dunk, that alley oop mm. dunk from Norris Cole. I I creamed so hard. Cool. I hate for some reason I hate Jason Terry and then I really hate Paul Pierce. Yeah, I don't like Paul Pierce. Paul either. Pierce is just like oh yeah. I like. Paul Pierce. I also hate um this is, you guys aren't don't even know who this is. Rugnet Odor. He's a, he's on the Rangers. Oh, I hate um Alex Bregman. I hate Jose Altuve. I hate Carlos Correa. <laughs> okay. But those hates, are my big three. He hates right the now. Astros. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Those are my big three. Um you guys are gonna hate me for this, but <laughs> okay, listen, there's a difference between not liking a player and not respecting a player. Okay. Yeah, I would agree. I with respect that. LeBron James. I just have never liked him. That's fine. At all. And there's nothing he's... I just think he's annoying. Like, not not even as a player. Like, on the court, he's he's the best player to ever play the game. I just have always got a vibe when he does interviews. He just seems like the guy that, like, off camera would just, like... Kind of be an asshole. Just Yeah, or, like, he would just ego everybody, I feel like. I would agree and with that. And I feel like he'd be the guy where, like, if you're the new guy on the team... He just pulls rank. <laughs> yeah, he just pull like I don't know this at all. Maybe he's a super nice guy, but when I hear him talking in an interview versus Kobe and Michael Jordan, Kobe and Michael Jordan both seem to me the vibe I get is like they seem like they'd be nicer to talk to. Uh, and I've heard from their teammates watched, that it's the I complete have. opposite. No, I've I've watched a ton of interviews. And no, 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 but the you're not getting vibes that Michael Jordan was the biggest asshole of all no, time in this in this documentary. No, no, he, he was, but like. I just it rubs me a different way like I because I think I feel like I can relate to like Michael wanted to be a winner so bad and that's like as a result he became this like kind of an asshole to his teammates but it was like for to win a championship. I, I get that but then how is it different with LeBron? I don't know like LeBron seems like he just like cares more about like egoing people like not in the turn not to benefit winning a championship but just because that's the way he wants people to view him as like better than them i think that's a semi-valid point and like I, I i i see where you're coming from i just don't really agree yeah and i mean he's a great player i just like w like i'd never i've never rooted like i would always root against him that's how i felt about kobe but i yeah. respect kobe a ton yeah <laughs> jordan sitting over <laughs> there like god damn it <laughs> keep my peace <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably the right thing <laughs> um <laughs> Jordan's a LeBron fan. He simps for LeBron. I simp yeah. for LeBron. Um, I call my dog Bentley LeBron. Okay. I go, Bentley Braun. So is that like his middle name? Yeah. Braun or LeBron? I go Bentley Braun. Bentley Braun. Mm. Cool. Um, all right, guys. Thank you all so much for listening to this episode of Peak to Middle School. There's new episodes every single Monday and Thursday. You guys should just go stream like nine episodes in a row to help us get more downloads. That would be huge. Uh, also, leave a review of our show in the Apple Podcast app because if you don't do it, you're a bitch. Yeah, bitch. Um, bitch. We've gone from 100 to 155 in like three weeks since we did that Habanero episode. 
Hell yeah. So get us to 200 and that's Keep when rolling. That's when we're going to do a, a live live stream episode on oh, YouTube. Oh yeah. That's going to be fun. I don't know how it's we'll going to go, but live stream with all live cream. Yeah, we'll do a live stream we and maybe maybe too. we'll just make it like a long episode where maybe at the beginning we'll do an episode and then we'll kind of like we'll be like once we finish the episode we could be like, "Well, do you guys want to play 2K?" And then maybe it could be like a 2K tourney mixed with a Pims episode. That seems like a lot of work. That seems like a lot's going on. But also would be super epic. We'll figure it out. So go leave a review. But guys, this was fun. Shim, where can I follow you? Uh, on Instagram, jshimfit. On Twitter, if you want, jshim23 underscore. Um, also, also be on the lookout for uh, my Twitch profile. My oh, You're going to start streaming? His streaming I, career. I'm, I'm gonna start streaming, and I'm I'm gonna blow up. Let's go! And I'm gonna meet Korean Savage. I'm gonna meet that Kayla girl that I I, I sent for, and nice. I'm gonna become huge. Cool. cool, that's good plan. Yeah, we're excited to follow your journey as a <laughs> streamer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go, baby. Kyle, where can I follow you? Instagram at Kyle Stafford thirty six. Uh, look look out for me also streaming. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm gonna start streaming, and I'm gonna get to Caleb before Jordan. No, It'll be they're both gonna have one viewer, and it's gonna be each other watching each other's streams, <laughs> looking at how we can get better. Kyle, than the Kyle other and I are playing duos Warzone while watching each other's streams, so we we can see each other's screens. Exactly, yeah. that's how you play. Um, yeah, follow the podcast at Pim's Podcast, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Uh, yeah, yep. You guys can follow me at Hey Narwhal on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And we got a couple videos that are already filmed and ready to come out. Um, like we said before, there's going to be content videos every other week. And I think the plan is to release those on Wednesdays. So I believe by the time you guys hear this, one of those videos is already up, which is reacting to our first ever podcast. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. So if Mondays and Thursdays weren't enough. Now there's Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Probably but, not every Wednesday. But every other Wednesday. Every other so. Wednesday. So it came out yesterday. Yes. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thanks for listening, guys. See you later. Peace See you. Out.